we have to talk about homeostasis. Homeostasis is balance of your system. And in particular, what we're looking at is trying to mediate large fluctuations. We don't want your body to have to undergo extremes. No extreme temperature changes, no extreme pH changes, nothing. So homeostasis is internal balance of the system. And your body is fighting all day long using these organ systems that we mentioned to try to maintain homeostasis. So they're doing all of these great functions, but their true overall big picture function is to maintain homeostasis. So when we look at animals exchanging things with their environment, I don't care if it's O2, CO2, like in your respiratory system, if you're talking about nutrient exchange, whatever, right? All of these things are going to be working with your environment or against your environment, right? So we've got to mediate that internally. If we take off your arms, legs, and head, this is kind of what you look like. We're looking at bringing in food, eliminating waste, exchanging carbon dioxide, oxygen. We've got all kinds of things going on that we have to make sure that we consider the external environment. You are not a closed system. You exchange things with the environment all day long. And that actually adds a lot of complexity to your system. If you were a closed system, you'd be much easier to maintain with an external contribution to your system, we have to maintain this homeostasis. We have to make sure that when the temperature goes from zero to 50 outside in a given day, that your body temperature isn't trying to fluctuate 50 degrees as well, okay? So we have to make sure that we're minimizing these extreme external environment conditions and making sure that your internal environment only sees very, very small fluctuations. We can deal with tiny changes. We do not deal well with huge changes in our systems internally. So our control systems really are maintained primarily by what we call a negative feedback system or negative feedback mechanism. And we will look at these a lot more later on, but their whole purpose is test the environment inside your body. Is it good? Fine, leave it alone. If it's not, how do we fix it? And how do we fix it quickly, okay? So we're going to allow little tiny fluctuations, but nothing big. An example of a negative feedback system for you, just so you can kind of have an idea of where we're going to try to deal with all of your systems, is if you have low calcium levels in your blood, you are dependent on calcium, not just for bone growth. Everyone associates it with bone growth. You need calcium to fire every single neuron in your body. Without it, forget it. So what we have to look at is that when calcium levels in the bloodstream are low, your parathyroid gland, which are these little tiny dots that sit on your thyroid. The thyroid is the big thing, the big wing butterfly looking thing. The little dots on it are the parathyroid glands and they monitor your bloodstream for calcium. As soon as the calcium gets too low, the parathyroid says, hey, we need calcium now. And if you're not eating enough calcium, the parathyroid will actually stimulate the bones to release calcium until the levels are high enough that you can function properly. And when the levels get high enough, the parathyroid gland says, okay, good enough for now. It shuts off that signal and the bones stop releasing calcium. When we get really concerned about this is as you get older. If your bones are constantly releasing calcium, they will become porous. And if your bones become porous, they break very, very easily. So we have a condition known as osteoporosis, right? This is the, the decrease in density of your bones as you get older. And one of the primary reasons for it is lack of calcium in your diet causes the parathyroid gland to turn on, remove calcium from your bones. As it does, your bones weaken and break easily. We can't have that. We've got to figure out in your systems how we can do this better and maintain these levels so that your parathyroid and every other gland in your body is happy.